John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Hollyland Mars M1 wireless monitoring system. You see this monitor? It's displaying the same image that my camera is seeing across the room. I have another monitor just like this on top of my camera. Now you see these two antennas right here? Not only is this a monitor system that uses Sony MPF batteries on the back, or it can also use a barrel connector DC input and provide DC output to your other camera gear, SDI input right there. This is a monitor that can both display directly what's being output to it through an HDMI and wirelessly transmit to other units just like this one across the room, across a field. It has 150 meters of range. Here's an interesting test. As you can see, I'm using the wireless feature to transmit to this little monitor and then I'm using the HDMI out to go to this TV. As you do it this many links, there is a little bit of latency here, but not as much down here. So this is a pretty cool test, guys. It works actually pretty dang well. Normally, this type of super technology has been something that FPV pilots use to fly their drones around or on really expensive cinema studio setups. For $550 each, you can get one of these. I really suggest that you buy at least a pair of them because one by itself, you can get a cheap HDMI monitor for just a couple of hundred bucks. What good does that tiny monitor do when you're 10 feet, 20 feet, 50 feet away? It doesn't really do that much, guys. Actually frame your shot correctly. This works perfectly for me when I'm either in a studio or shooting in the field. Sometimes I might get my head cut off of the frame because I'm trying to see a monitor that's so far away. Never have to worry about that again. Never miss your shots, especially those that do product photography or on the go run and gun. Having this monitor so that whoever is actually setting up the shot, you know, you might have a cameraman setting up over there, but your director really needs to see that framing, that lighting. We're gonna hold both of these up to the screen right now just for a second and see if you can tell the latency. Let's move my fingers around and you can see them moving around in real time. You can see my mouth moving around in real time. This is ultra low latency link guys not something like the phone app for your sony camera that works pretty good sometimes but what happens if you get a call it has your tripod mount on the bottom also has a tripod mount on the side in case you're working with vertical video all of you take talkers now setting these up is very very easy all you got to do is turn it on and you're going to set one of these as the transmitter that is the one that's going to connect to your camera and then you're going to select a channel one through eight. I'm going to put both of these on channel one. I have one connected to my camera already, so I'm going to make this one the receiver. So I'm going to hit receiver, confirm. After you put it into receiver mode and boom, instantly I have an image. There's also different things on here. You can see your little graphs uh, connected to your camera. You can turn on zebras and then here is how you would put in a different LUT. You can do LUT import so you can put one and load it through the USB and you can hit this to put it into different color modes. You can view sort of like histogram type things. Here's where you have your zebras and you can actually dial your zebras up or down to learning what level you like to have your zebras at. You can even turn on focus peaking right here. You can now see it's red. You can set your white balance levels. You also notice you have a USB right here that's so that you can apply updates and I believe you can actually do USB power bank for power as well. These little antennas, they are SMA antennas, so you could even look to upgrade these if you wanted to get a bit more range. We know all about that in the drone space. Say you wanted to go farther than 150 meters, the fact that you can easily pop on whatever type of antenna solution you want is really cool. I could just plug in a little patch antenna like this or a little Omni Pagoda antenna like this. It's the same connector and get who knows how much range out of this thing if I were to do that. Now this is an RPSMA jack. So if you were gonna look for upgrading antennas, keep that in mind. There's SMA and RPSMA. So it has a 4K wireless transmission system. This means you can plug one end HDMI into your camera like a traditional camera monitor, but that will then 
transmit wirelessly up to 150 meters to another identical unit that acts as a receiver. You can also then use that second unit to output the signal to another bigger monitor or TV. This is perfect for recording in one location, but needing to send the video to a director or video village or just to dad taking the family video to see that the little one isn't picking his nose in the family video that we'll all watch decades later with only 0 0.08 milliseconds of latency it seems that it goes farther and faster than most phone apps will and it has 1080p 1000 nit five and a half inch display you can power it with sony mpf batteries or a dc barrel jack meaning for us drone pilots we can use a 3s lipo battery with an xt60 to barrel adapter for extra power should you need it or just plug into a wall outlet with that adapter you can also load LUTs onto it so that you can grade or apply LUTs onto your footage in post and it will look exactly the same way in your monitor as you set up the shot. Each unit can be set as a transmitter or receiver and it supports app monitoring up to four mobile devices at the same time. The ultimate baby monitoring system, meaning all four grandparents can watch the baby camera in glorious full HD with custom baby LUT supplied. Five and a half inch LCD touchscreen is viewable in daylight due to its 1000 nit brightness. The standard Rec 709 color gamut along with 16.7 million natural colors that you can even adjust color temperature manually or load in a LUT. The cons are the price. I do wish that it came with an articulating mount. You can add this but my cheaper one did come with that. Um, but that's sort of a fairly small expense. Fans are there, which is no surprise uh, because this is doing a lot of things. Most likely you won't have the camera right next to a microphone or you wouldn't be using this system anyway. So that really isn't much of a big deal. It's a very versatile and powerful system if you need something that can send your footage from an HDMI source here over to there and there you go. The future is now. You know, years ago, you would have had to have giant cables run across the room or much more larger and expensive solutions to transmit that wirelessly. Now you can get this with a few clicks on Amazon and have it in your door in a couple of days should you need it. When so object, I haven't really seen another product on the market that can do so much for the money.